What's going on y'all, it's the kid J Nolan here. Hey man, before we get into anything in this video, make sure that you like and share it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get all updates, hit the post notification bell. All right y'all, let's get into it. Oh shit. in the previous clip that I just showed you. That was 40 Water, aka E40, getting thrown out of the Kings vs. Warriors game. Of course, this was a home game for the Sacramento Kings. 40 Water is a Golden State Warriors fan, although he's shown massive love to the Kings in the past. There's even an interview he did with Slam Magazine where he says he got love for the Kings because he's North California all day. And this is really like a travesty. I hate to say it. I know people probably look at NBA games and feel like, man, who cares if he got thrown out? But look at all of the commotion that was caused over nothing. E-40 has attended countless amounts of Golden State Warriors games and has never gotten into any type of altercation, never been removed, never had any kind of drama surrounding him. He's always had a good time. He's performed at the Warriors games. He's released a Warriors version of his song, Yep. So they have massive support for him. As a matter of fact, you see Andre Iguodala actually walking with him out of the arena. You saw Warriors players showing concern over what was happening with E-40 as security was trying to escort him out. And then on the other angle, you could also see the white lady that he was having an issue with or who was heckling him. Let's go ahead and call it what it is, Miss Karen. As he's getting escorted out, she's hugging other fans in the stands. So it just goes to show you she really wasn't having an issue with him. She just wanted him removed. She was making it her own plot and play to make sure that he got the hell up out the stadium because once it was put in motion that that was going to be the thing, she's happy. She's hugging other people. Everybody's having a great time to go back to enjoying the game again. It's not like he did anything to disrupt her freedom her privacy, anything that she had going on. If anything, she was invading up on his privacy, invading up on his freedom to enjoy the game and be a fan and spectate. Not to mention, as I said, this dude is a great supporter of his team. He puts money into that organization year round. He said it took money in order to make money, to have enough money to get courtside seats at those types of games. And it's straight bullshit, man. I hate to say it, but then again, I don't. We really got to get these white fans in check, okay? We've seen countless times where these white fans in the stands have heckled the Kyrie Irvings, the LeBron Jameses, the E-40s, the, the Russell Westbrooks. These are typically the people that are doing the most on the sidelines, distracting and disrupting the actual peace of the game. Now, I'm not saying that there needs to be a white person policy written in the uh, the textbook of buying tickets or you have to be briefed before the game on how to be a white fan, but something has to be done about these people. It just is what it is, man. Like There needs to be a manual of things that you can and cannot do. And if you provoke somebody, there should also be repercussions for that. The malice in the palace was spawned by white motherfuckers in the stands. I am not racist. I'm not reverse racist. I don't want nobody on my video coming to me with that type of language, that type of jargon. I'm really not. But I don't accept the fact that white people continue to get away with everything they want and they get to imply and impose themselves upon black people, even if their intention is not solely based on race. 
It's the fact that you get the freedom to be a fucking idiot in public and the person that you're bothering or antagonizing is the one that's always going to receive the consequences. That is my issue. And to be perfectly frank, I feel like the Sacramento Kings and the NBA at large owe E-40 an apology. He needs to be reimbursed for the tickets, for the money he spent, the travel that it took for him to get to Sacramento, all of that shit. And he need to get some complimentary tickets for next season too, since y'all want to be playing. E40 also issued a statement about being removed from the game. So this is what he had to say. He says, on Saturday night, I was subjected to disrespectful heckling over the course of the Warriors-Kings game in Sacramento. During the fourth quarter, I finally turned around and addressed one heckler in an assertive but polite manner. Yet shortly thereafter, King security approached me, assumed that I instigated the encounter and proceeded to kick me out of the arena. Unfortunately, it was yet another reminder that despite my success and accolades as a musician and entrepreneur, racial bias remains prevalent. Security saw a disagreement between a black man and a white woman and immediately assumed that I was at fault. I've attended countless NBA games throughout my lifetime and have always prided myself in professionalism, so this experience has been jarring. I was absolutely humiliated by the King's security team and I'm calling on the franchise to investigate the appalling conduct that transpired. I'm truly grateful for my fans and supporters who have reached out to express their concern and disappointment regarding these disheartening circumstances and i hope those involved are held accountable for their behavior let me know what y'all think of this bullshit down below in the comments man be sure to like and share this video and if this is your first time seeing me on youtube go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the post notification bell i'm happy to be home man i was trying to do content while i was on the road while i was out in anaheim attending nam you know uh teaching people about the music business how to get your music and tv and films all that good stuff uh it wasn't coming out the way i wanted to i have a portable mic but that mic wasn't jiving with me all the way like i wanted it to so i know the content wasn't at the level that it could have been i'm glad to be back in my domain again if this is your first time seeing me on youtube go ahead and subscribe i got much more on the way much love and respect y'all peace beautiful people thank you for tuning in i hope that you enjoyed the content make sure that you're liking and sharing these videos make sure that you're subscribed to the channel hit the post notification bell so you get all updates for all of my artists my artist managers, songwriters, producers, etc. If you need a little bit of extra help with your career, man, make sure that you visit PinGameElite.com, okay? That's my website and my community for all upcoming rising music creators. I got two books on there, The Pin Game Portfolio Volume 1 and 2. They're going to give you a lot of insights into the music industry, how to monetize your career, how I make my money off of music because I am a full-time artist outside of doing YouTube videos. If you need some direct help, you can also book a consultation with me on the pin game elite website and i also have a pin game elite membership the free tier gives you access to all of these videos that i post on youtube and a community of people where you can engage but i do have the membership plus okay you can join that for 50 dollars a month or 500 dollars a year and i will actually go in and do all of the grunt work for you if you're not registering your songs on your pros if you're not with song trust or the mlc if all your collection agencies and all of that stuff are not up to par or up to date i will go in there and update all of that for you if you need help uploading your music to a distributor like distrokid united masters etc and you've been making mistakes you've been claiming content id on material that you really don't own hey man stop stealing people's money if you do this stuff the right way you're gonna make it anyway okay you can join the membership plus and again i will do the work for you and you're gonna get a free consultation every month just for joining you're also going to get the two books for free soon as you join the membership plus all right much love and respect i'll catch y'all later peace